Okay, here we are at part three of Facial Hair Striptease 2013 with your host, Scott Dewey. Anyway, so as you can see, I got rid of the Amish or Old Testament or John Brown or Abraham Lincoln beard <clears throat> and actually moved backward in time to probably about the 1830s, I think, or, well, around the 1830s, you saw a lot of this, these side whiskers, like the young Charles Darwin, uh, not, not the old bearded man we have seen in pictures, but the young Charles Darwin, when he was uh, on the voyage of the Beagle around the world, around South America, the Pacific, <clears throat> as well as uh, oh, various Romantic period musical composers, Robert Schumann uh, would be one, and uh, various others, Felix Mendelssohn, you know, had side whiskers. <clears throat> I seem to recall Martin Van Buren did, president, the U.S. president. Um, I think sometimes they actually had them kind of growing all the way to the chin in a fringe and coming out like that. Which I wasn't able to do hacking off this massive bush of hair at the bottom of my face. <clears throat> so this is as close as you're going to get. And, uh, let's see, the last, the last episode of the facial hair striptease was much too long, so this one is going to be a whole lot shorter. And of that I'm determined show you the sides of my early to mid 19th century post-Napoleonic side whiskers. Oh, and I thought maybe I don't have a top hat and it wouldn't fit on the on, on the viewfinder anyway very well, but uh, I don't have proper wire rim glasses, but I do have these which are pretty close, so. <clears throat> to do the Franz Schubert effect here with my half-wire reading glasses. Looks very 19, early 19th century, sort of like some professor of theology at Harvard University in 1834. How about that? <laughs> Back when Harvard cared about theology. <clears throat> okay, and I think that's enough. And since you've seen my face before, if you ever wanted to, um, I don't know if I'll do a fourth installment when these are all the way gone in a few days. Anyway, as always, the facial hair striptease has been a blast. <laughs> At least for me. <laughs> and probably nobody watches these anyway, so... Uh, maybe I'm the only audience. Anyway, though, um, bye. Maybe I'll see you again in 2014 and we'll see what amazing facial hair striptease occurs then. I have to think what I haven't done already, if anything. <laughs> okay, bye.